Welcome to the training presentation on the Header Organizational Self-Assessment Tool for Equity and Inclusion. In this video, we will explore the area of leadership. At certain points in this video, you will be invited to pause the video and engage in conversations. Please keep the following guidelines in mind. Everyone speaks for their own experience. Be open to new ideas. Be sensitive and respectful. We may encounter areas that may challenge us and cause discomfort, and that's an important part of growing and learning. What is the best way to begin the process of using the tool? There are different ways to approach the indicators depending on your unique needs. Here are a few ideas. A. Prioritize. Have stakeholders do a dotmocracy activity to vote on the indicators that need most urgent attention. See the facilitator's guide for details. B. Adapt. Select indicators and adapt them to best meet the needs of your organization. C. Delegate. Divide the indicators among various equity champions, stakeholders, or groups in the organization to seek out the potential examples and suggest action items scoring. In this video, we will explore the area of leadership. Leadership in an organization is crucial to setting the organizational tone for equity and inclusion so that it's positioned as valuable work that brings strengths and assets to the organization. Solid equity leadership ensures that equity is not the work of a certain department or equity champion, but of everyone in the organization. Let's look at the various indicators listed under the heading of leadership on the organizational self-assessment tool and see where you might find these indicators in your organization. Not all the indicators listed may be applicable to your organization and there could be others that you wish to add. Before we begin the equity and inclusion indicators for leadership, some of the evidence that supports these indicators may be based on opinions or personal accounts and not documented reports or the written practices we most often refer to as evidence. Let's consider a few definitions to help us. Evidence is information that supports a position or is used as proof. Empirical evidence is based on experiences and direct observation through research and is documented. Logical evidence is based on facts and a clear rationale. Anecdotal evidence is based on personal accounts of incidents as they are remembered. In this section on leadership, we can use all of these types of evidence. Indicator. Senior leaders are role models in their discussions and actions in diversity and inclusion practices. Leaders consciously create the conditions for equity and inclusion instead of only responding to issues or perceived problems. Evidence. References to equity are made in public speaking and messaging to stakeholders. The organizational philosophy has an equity lens. Strategic plan documents indicate actions planned for inclusionary practices. Anecdotal evidence of discussions and actions show respect for inclusion and equity. Job descriptions for executive leadership positions include equity as a priority. Advocacy for rights is practiced and apparent. Anecdotal evidence or advocacy file of activities. Indicator. Leaders support and are actively involved in equity and diversity networks. The presence of leadership in equity networks demonstrates their commitment and places importance on the work for others to see in the organization. It also helps them to understand the specific equity and inclusion assets and challenges that the organization experiences. Evidence. Attendance and involvement at meetings and events. List of organizations and partnerships that show support, involvement, and contribution. Minutes of meetings or supporting documents from learning events. Shared learning with information from equity trainings, networking. Let's pause the video and consider how leadership is involved in equity networks in your organization. Discuss the evidence and scoring with a table partner. 
identify any gaps. Indicator. Leaders encourage inclusion ideas recommended by employees, volunteers, persons served, and stakeholders. Responsive leadership takes equity ideas and empowers others to make them happen in an organization. They listen and act upon suggestions as much as they lead. Evidence. Openness to trying and adopting new ideas. Assigning budget to new ideas and ventures. Encouraging risk and valuing innovation. Guidelines are documented and practiced in meetings so that all voices are heard. Anecdotal evidence of active listening taking priority over leadership voices. Active listening is so important. Let's look at a video that will help us recognize and practice great listening skill. Hi, I'm here to teach you about active listening. Active listening is a communication technique that requires the listener to be fully concentrated and understanding. They remember what was said. Here are the five steps to being a great active listener. Maintain eye contact throughout the conversation. You can blink. Just try to avoid looking around at the floor, etc. Display engaging body language. Nod your head. Lean forward. Give facial feedback. Smile. Avoid distractions. Turn off technology. Don't listen in other people's conversations nearby. Tune out background noise. Be slightly vocal. Make listening noises such as, mm, oh, okay, right. Be open-minded. Don't tune out because you don't agree. Consider everyone's opinion. And neutralize your feelings. Don't interrupt. This can make the speaker upset. You might think of something you want to say or want to correct the speaker, but hold off, your turn will come. Repeat what has been said to show you are listening and understand. Use phrases such as, so what I'm hearing is, and from what you're saying about it, it seems like, is that correct? Ask questions at the end. This shows you are interested in paying attention. Oh, I was wondering about... If you're the speaker, you can effectively communicate by using an I statement. What's that? An I statement uses the following phrasing to let the listener know exactly what they're feeling. I feel, when, because. I feel happy when you actively listen to me because it makes me feel important and valued. As a volunteer, you will use active listening with your peers, community partners, your work study leaders, other volunteers with different community groups. Thanks for watching, or should I say, actively listening. Indicator. Leaders respond to challenging issues such as conflicting rights or unconscious bias. Demonstrating how to resolve equity issues in positive and productive ways help all members of the organization to see equity and inclusion as a strength. Evidence. Acknowledging their own biases and publicly correcting themselves. Setting clear guidelines for conflict resolution in alignment with the Human Rights Code and Employee Handbook and ethical code of conduct. Building capacity and understanding of human rights and competing rights. Maintaining current knowledge of legal and legislative changes. AODA guidelines for accessibility. Accessing expertise in mediation, training in human rights, and legal advice. Indicator. Leaders ensure that policies, including policies and practices of inclusion and equity, are communicated to the board, committees, groups, staff, volunteers, personnel, and persons served. Evidence. Budgeting for training and knowledge transfer around equity topics. Board meetings are practiced according to bylaws. Minutes are current and accessible. Minutes of meetings with committees, groups, and personnel are documented. Bill of Rights for Employees and Volunteers. Bill of Rights for Persons Served. Human Resources Manual is accessible to all staff and all volunteers. Documented policies on equity and inclusion, previously called cultural competence, social justice, ethical code of conduct, equitable employment practices, no reprisal may be in the ethical code of conduct, conflict resolution, health equity plan applicable in some organizations, Let's pause the video here to look at how leadership ensures communication of equity policies in your organization. Discuss evidence and scoring with a table partner. Identify any gaps. Indicator. 
leaders are equipped with inclusive leadership skills needed for diverse work teams. Leaders seek out opportunities to grow their own equity leadership capacity from formal and informal sources of equity information and training. Evidence. Attending community-based learning that are both formal and informal. Visiting a roundhouse, places of worship, and cultural events to understand and gain insight into the needs of a given community. Training, resources, and education are provided for enrichment not only to respond to an issue or need. Focus groups, committees, or teams are organized with broad representation. Organizational chart, which includes all positions and groups. Equitable leadership embraces the values of accountability and responsibility to the organization's stated mission. Leaders demonstrate attention to people within the organization and serve by the organization, viewing social responsibility through the equity lens. Thanks for considering the indicators and evidence that support equitable leadership. We encourage you to continue to apply the Organizational Self-Assessment Tool for Equity and Inclusion to one of the five other content areas that your organization has selected to explore. You can continue with scoring and action planning. If you need assistance, view video number two using the header Organizational Self-Assessment Tool for Equity and Inclusion. This concludes the header training presentation. For more information or to book a facilitator to help you lead the self-assessment process, please contact Header. Header would like to thank the following.